<laughs> I was once in a haunted uh, house in Salt Lake City, I've, and I've talked about this before, where there was so much poltergeist-type action that it, it was crazy. The lights flew on and off all the time, flickering here and there. I went downstairs to check the breaker box. It was normal. And I looked outside. Nobody else was having problems with their electricity in the neighborhood. It was just that home. Doors were opening by themselves. Like the front door, and you could feel this presence like, oh, who's, who's walking in as the door opens really, really slowly. And then the creepy things like that. And books flying out from the walls and hitting. What? We were in the den and something was going on. We were just hanging out in the den. This woman, her father was a lawyer. She's like 20 something. So a whole bunch of 20 somethings. And usually the younger they, they are, they're more poltergeist activity. I was just going to say that. I love like, especially teenagers, because they yeah. just have this kind of erratic energy. Her dad was a lawyer. So there are these built in bookshelves with these really big law books. And we were playing with tarot cards in the den. Darlene walked over to this side of me. And all these books flew at her, like about four or five really big, heavy books. So that's not a trick. That's the stuff's happening. And then she fell on me and I'm like, what are you doing? 